Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of today's article is Welcoming Spring. So here it says Amsterdam Tulip Festival 2017. So we know what tulip is. Tulip is a flower. It's a very beautiful flower that comes in many different colors. It's one of the most popular flowers and you can see a picture of that at the top right corner. And Amsterdam is a place in Europe. So we'll see uh, more about the festival that's coming. So it says here, the Netherlands is famous for windmills and numerous kinds of flowers. So we've seen windmills before. Windmills, you can usually find it in the farms and they use uh, these kind of fan looking things and it, and it spins and it creates energy or it does work uh, in the farm. So we see that Netherlands, the country, is very famous for many different kinds of flowers. Numerous means a lot of different kinds, right? A great number of. So we can see this kind of nature-esque, very peaceful, beautiful kind of uh, picture when you think about the Netherlands. As the so-called world's flower shop, the country cultivates the popular tulip in large quantities and a variety of colors. So they've given the nickname to the Netherlands as the so-called world's flower shop, right? So we, so we see that in our neighborhoods, sometimes there's flower shops, but the flower shop of the world, the nickname is given to the Netherlands because they grow so many wonderful different flowers. So quantities means how great the number is. So large numbers and a variety of colors. Variety means that there's many different kinds. So the numbers, they make a lot of different and they have uh, many different types of different uh, tulips. So we can find that in, um, in Netherlands. And it says the word cultivate means once again to grow. Uh, considered the national symbol of the Dutch, the flower arrived in the country after Dutch traders in the 16th century brought it from the Ottoman Empire in present day Turkey. So long time ago in the 1600s, that's when people from the Netherlands who went to the Ottoman Empire, which is now the country of Turkey, people who went there to trade, they were the first ones to bring this flower to the Netherlands. So it wasn't native to the Netherlands, this flower. You, you weren't able to find it. It didn't grow there first. They had to bring it in from a different country. Uh, and it became a national symbol. So in Korea, we have our national flower, uh, the Bugungha. So here in the Netherlands, their national flower is the tulip. So this is uh, very interesting about the history of the tulip and why it's so important uh, to the country of Netherlands. And anything that comes from the Netherlands, the people or the, or, the, or the products or the things that we get from the Netherlands are used the word with Dutch. Uh, the Dutch capital will host the Amsterdam Tulip Festival 2017 from April 1st to May 14th. More than 500,000 tulips will be displayed at over 60 locations, including Andaz Hotel, Hilton Amsterdam, Hotel Casa 400, Museum Van Loon, Van Gogh Museum, and the Waldorf Astoria Amsterdam. So all throughout uh, the country in 2017 from April 1st to May 14th. So if you hurry up, you can still watch it. You still have some time. And inside the capital, which is Amsterdam, you can go and see these festivals. Festivals is a large celebration uh, and you can see it displayed, meaning shown, over 60 different places. So right now in Korea, they're doing a lot of the cherry blossom festivals. Uh, so you can go to different places and see the cherry blossoms just like that all over Amsterdam, the capital of Netherlands, you can see uh, the tulips uh, being shown many places around that country. Uh, many different hotels, many different museums, they're all showing the, the tulip festival. So it says a red tulip carpet has been designed to celebrate the festival this year. So they made a carpet, right? Or maybe you can't walk on it like the normal carpets, but they made rows of tulips designed together, they created it so that they can celebrate uh, the festival for this year. So I'm sure it looks very beautiful, tiny, uh, a lot of tulips that are grown together and it looks like a carpet. It's, it's completely covering the ground. Information, booklets, maps, 
and the location of tulips are available for visitor convenience. So convenience means uh, for your ease, right? It's easier, more comfortable for you. So if you're visiting, there's a lot of booklets or maps so that you can go check out one of these uh, different festivals that are in 60 different places. Uh, landscape gardener and designer Saskia Albrecht, uh, who founded this festival, said she hopes to reintroduce the tulip by setting up at least 830,000 of them on the streets of Amsterdam. So who is this person? This person is a gardener, is a person who grows flowers and designer, right? Saskia Albrecht, she founded this festival. So founded this festival means she's the person who started it. So this person wants to reintroduce or introduce again or let the people of the Netherlands uh, become familiar, get to know the tulip better and she wants to set up close to a million flowers, 830,000 of them, all over the streets of Amsterdam. So uh, just like many things are famous in many different countries, in the, in the city of Amsterdam, we know that tulips are very famous, are very popular. And now during this time in the beginning of spring, they want to show everyone, once again, please come to our country and see uh, how beautiful the flower, the tulips are. And they're all over the country and they're having their festival at over 60 different places. So just like how in Korea and in Japan, we have the cherry blossom festivals, in parts of Europe, they have the tulip festivals. Very interesting. Hopefully you can go take a look. And like we learned in the article, the tulips, they come in many different colors. So we saw yellow ones, now we see red ones. Let's see what our questions are. It says, what is the Netherlands famous for? So Netherlands are famous for their soccer. They're famous for many different things. But just like we learned in today's article, they are famous for right, windmills and numerous kinds of flowers. So windmills you can see uh, in the, the farms or uh, very beautiful uh, kind of pictures uh, with flowers in the background. So that's what they're known for, very beautiful nature. Uh, what is the Netherlands nickname? So we said uh, that nickname was given to them because they have so many flowers. So what are they to the world? They are the world's flower shop because they grow so many beautiful flowers. And also they have the weather, right? You have to have the correct weather uh, and the temperature so that you can grow many flowers. And the Netherlands, uh, they have the perfect amount of sunlight as well as rain. Uh, so that you can grow many different flowers. Uh, the next question says, when did the tulip arrive in the Netherlands? Did it just get there or was it always there? We know that it wasn't native, it wasn't always there. They had to bring it from the Ottoman Empire or present day Turkey and they did that long time ago in the 1600s, in the 16th century. So the flower, the tulip, was something that they brought over, right, because they traded with another country. Uh, let's fill in the blanks uh, using the sentences and the clues that we know. So it says the Dutch blank will host the Amsterdam Tulip Festival 2017 from April 1st to May 14th. So the Dutch what? So the Dutch, the main city, where was the main city? That's Amsterdam. So the main city is called the capital. So the Dutch capital, which is Amsterdam. They will be the ones showing the festivals. Uh, the next question says a red tulip carpet has been designed to blank the festival this year. So we're going to see, uh, if you go to Amsterdam, you'll see this beautiful red carpet and it was designed to what? And the correct answer is to celebrate. So they made this special kind of bed or carpet of tulips uh, and when you look at it, it's going to be very beautiful and they designed this especially to celebrate this year's uh, tulip festival. And the last question, the last blank, it says information booklets. Booklets are the very thin books that you can find information. Maps and the location of tulips are blank for visitor convenience. So we said convenience is so that it's easier for you or more convenient for you if you are a visitor. So all of these things are what? All of these things are available so you can get them so that you can find the exact location where these festivals are being held. So just like we celebrate uh, many different festivals in Korea, just so uh, in the Netherlands, in the capital of Amsterdam, they also have a tulip festival to start spring. So tulips are very beautiful flowers. And if you're a fan or if you really like tulips, this will be the place to go and check them out. So you can see the many different colors, many different kinds of tulips and also get to see the beautiful city of Amsterdam. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.